What's up guys? It's Matwai here, back with another video. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to wrap the V-bars in your BMW F33. Welcome back to another video, guys. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me at Matwire. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing, put that bell notification on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Let's get right into it. So obviously I picked up a red, bright red wrap that I'll be wrapping the V-bars with. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, these are your V-bars. So if you look inside the uh, kidney grills in your BMW, there's a bar right there. And there's also one on the other side right here, kind of makes a V, hence V-bar. So obviously you're gonna wanna start by popping your hood. And real quick, before we get started, um, I did replace these kidney grills, but I don't have a video uh, uploaded to my channel because I did it before I started a channel. Um, but if you did want to replace your kidney grills, you're going to follow these same exact steps. All right, guys. So next, once you've got the hood popped, you're going to want to move this weather strip. So right here, you're just going to pull up on it. Very simple. And then it should just come up just like that. And set this to the side because obviously you're gonna need that later so after you move the all-weather strip you're gonna want to remove these screws so there's two on the end there's one right here on, on the other side those are t25s and then the ones in the middle those are t30s all right guys so as you can see i went ahead and removed them so there should be a total of eight screws you're gonna remove um this one and the other one on the end right over here bam right there those are both the T25s, and then the one, two, three, four, five, six, or T30s. So once you remove the screws, you're gonna wanna kinda unclip your bumper. So if you can see, there's these little clips. There's one right here, one right here, one right here, one right here as well. So how to do that, just like I just did, you're just gonna push it under, just like that. You're just gonna wanna push your bumper or in this case pull it towards you until it um, unclips from those clips so once you have the clips unclipped your bumper will kind of be able to move forward a little bit just like that and at this point this is where you'll be able to remove the kidney grills all right guys so now i'm going to show you how to remove the kidney grills so there should be a total of eight clamps i want to say three on the top three on the bottom and then one on either side or each side i should say so how you do it i've already started but there should be little clips. You can see if you'll focus right there. That clip right there, you're gonna push that down and then push the kidney grill through. Just like I did right here. I'm gonna push this down and then push that through. I do find it easiest to start on the side. So if you can see, there's one back right down there. You start on the side, it'll kind of give you room to get these ones and then work your way all the way around. And then there's one on the inside over here too. If you can see it fat fingers in the way but then there's ones on the bottom too so once you unclip all of them um the kidney grills will just come right out so like i said guys once you undo all the clips the grill is literally going to come right out just so you guys can see a little better the clips right here is what i was talking about so in retrospect when it's in you're going to push down right here and pull out and then you're going to do that all the way around just like that so what i find is the easiest this clip on the inside gave me a little bit of trouble when I was trying to, you know, push it with my finger. Um, so if you can't get enough force with your finger without it hurting too bad, um, just grab a flathead screwdriver. And then, so like, when you're going in, you can just clip or press the flathead screwdriver on that, and then it should release. Um, like I said, if it's just hurting your finger too much, just grab a flathead screwdriver. Just be careful not to scratch up anything. But now that we got one out, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. So once you get out both grills, as you can see, the V-bars are kind of dirty. So you're gonna wanna clean them up with some rubbing alcohol, just so that way, once you put the wrap on there, it'll actually stick. All right, so once you clean up the V-bars, now pretty much you're just gonna wanna measure the wrap. Um, I'm not 100% sure how. <laughs> So I'm not sure how much you're gonna need as far as once you're done, but I'm just gonna eyeball it and kind of just test fit it and see what looks good. 
and then you just go with that to be honest so as far as the wrap i bought the um half foot by five feet and as far as the width the width is perfect almost perfect for um the length of the bar so all you're gonna want to do after that is just cut it you know a lot thinner than this obviously i would say i would say if anything maybe two inches an inch and a half but um let's see all right guys so i'm done cutting out both of them what i did was found one that worked and then obviously once i cut that one out i just duplicated another one just from this one but um i would say it's about maybe two and a half inches across and then once you find what fits it's gonna take the backing paper off and then carefully place it on the v-bar all right guys i am not gonna lie to you that was kind of a pain in the butt just for the simple fact that it's a very small area to work with i'm um, gonna be a lot easier if you just remove your whole front bumper in my case i was being lazy didn't feel like doing that so a few pointers just make sure when you're putting on the wrap i would place it you know stick it to the front side first so that way you can make sure that's nice and smooth has no air bubbles and then once you get this nice and smooth you're going to want to for the top part you're going to want to pull pull back and then wrap because if you just wrap it they'll have air bubbles in the back as well same with this part on the bottom that's going to wrap underneath you're going to want to pull down and then wrap if that makes sense just so you know you make sure the wrap is as tight as possible as you're laying it so there's no air bubbles make sure you cut a little bit more so you can overlap it in the back so it won't come off on you so now that one's done gonna do the same thing to the other side and then put everything back together i'm not gonna lie to you guys that was a pain in the ass trying to do it this way um yes if you want to save some time you can do it this way but i say if you want to you know be able to get it done faster and with less struggle just take the whole front bumper off um doing it this way you really have to make sure that you know you're not getting any wrinkles you really don't have too much room to play with and when, when it comes to wrapping around the v-bar um just getting it perfect without any air bubbles is, is very difficult so yes this way does work you know um it's an option but uh would i recommend doing it this way probably not but okay since they're both wrapped let's go ahead and get everything back together i'll go ahead and put the grills back in put the t20 screws back in and then see what it looks like when it's all finished all right guys so something to remember when you're replacing everything or putting everything back um, make sure that these little clamps in your bumper so this one right here this one make sure that they're all over your bumper again because that's what kind of keeps your bumper in place and once it's in place with the clamps then you can go ahead and put all your screws back in once again the t25 go on the on the ends and then all the t30s go right in the middle and last but not least i'm gonna get my all weather strip on there and then um we'll check out what it looks like So as you guys just saw, it looks really good. I'm really happy with how it came out. It completely changes the front end of the car, makes it look a lot more sporty in my opinion. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it wasn't the easiest thing. It took me about, it took me about 45 minutes to complete both of them. Um, just cause I'm super picky with air bubbles and stuff and just slight wrinkles bothered me. So I had to redo this side about four or five times to be honest. But with that being said, wraps up this video. If you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you put that bell notification on there. So every time I upload a new video, you get notified. Go ahead and put a thumbs up for this video if you liked it. And as always, guys, stay safe. I love you all. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Are we gonna play now? Ready for the show? I'm about to take down. You already know. Get the fuck out of my face now. Yeah, you gotta go. Man, I'm on the chase now.